when I first started this, nobody wanted to deal with me. I ain't get nobody, no customers, no nothing. I started, I started thinking. All right, Denisha, what do they recognize? I'm sorry to say what I'm about to say. What do black people notice the most? <laughs> I'm serious. Celebrities. They know BET. They know you know, the Park. They know all that stuff. So go from there and build. I started DMing these people. Like, listen, let me go show you what I can do. You ain't got to pay for it. Their friends would call me, and their friend friends, and their aunts, and their uncles. Then they start, the celebrities started seeing me, where they're like, yo, she everywhere. Mariah Lynn, and I never kid you, know, I should have said that on the show. Mariah Lynn, she was my first paying customer. She said, listen to me, I like that you out here on a Monday, got to go to work at 5 o'clock, but you out here with your husband giving me cupcakes, okay? And it was 3 o'clock in the morning, okay? And when I left there, ask her. We, I did the Little Kim event, right? Her manager some contacted me and said they wanted me to vendor. I got paid for that. And we was out, like, I think 5 o'clock in the morning. And my girl, not even slept. Had to be at work at 7. This is what we did. This this is what we did. I couldn't even. This is what I did. <laughs> I did this. I came up. And we all went to work that the next day. And my boss looked at me. I had all my makeup on. Because he was like, where you came from? Don't worry about it. I had all my makeup on. And my husband, he was like, yo, babe, I don't know if I keep doing this. Now I am. And now they starting to see, they starting to see like, oh, so she did this wrap up. Without, so she's good. Without their help. So, without she's, their so, help. She, wow. so she can, she can build something. Right. So let me talk to her now. Right. And now it's like, boom, 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 boom. So my DM is blown up. What? I couldn't, if I didn't put a celebrity in there, my hashtags, they, nobody wouldn't believe. Nobody wouldn't even talk to me. When I first started, nobody went to see me. I did uh, Fashion Week. I was two years ago, she know, I was begging to do Fashion Week. That's, I told you I had a bucket list. So these are the bucket lists I got hit off. I want to do Fashion Week so bad, because I just want to so elaborate, see people walk in and be behind the stage. Nobody would call me. Now that I'm out doing this and I'm doing that, now I'm getting calls for makeup shows and they giving me gift bags. And sometimes I get gift bags and with a thousand dollar things in them. And it's like, oh, so that's what y'all know. Y'all don't know a hard working woman. Y'all know me with P. Diddy. And y'all know me with Rihanna. Y'all don't know me as the person. So if y'all want a show, and my mother said it's so bad because it's like we're doing slavery again. We need to do a show for you to understand who I am. So, okay, you want that? So for me to eat caviar, you want a show, I'm going to give you a show. And it'll be the best show that you ever see me in life. And that's what I started doing. Like, okay, you want me to be? No, seriously. <laughs> we still recording, right? <laughs> no, seriously. Like, you, you want to show? We're her too. We're her too. When I first started, it's just like, it's like nobody really noticed you. You as a mom, it, to be a mom, you know how hard is it to leave your babies? It's sometimes she'll call me and say, the baby here. I said, at the show? She said, yeah. You know what I mean? I remember one time she called me and said, Yo, um, no, I, she didn't say it. I asked, I said, you run around so much. Let me, let me watch the baby food. Mind you, I ain't, my baby's two years old. I don't know, I don't know infant. And me and my husband watched the baby. And I was just talking about, I was like, yo, as a black woman, she's so empowerment. It's like, so much you're doing with your past. So much you're doing with your, with your boyfriend, with your situation. So much, your living and everything. And she still found a way to put her hair on, put a makeup on, and got out there and did that event that night. She came back and got her baby at the exact time what she said, and she went over about her business. And I was just like, yo, if she could do it, ain't no excuses. Everybody could do it. Anybody. It's no excuses. Yeah, no. I tell everybody that all the time. It's no excuses why you can't be a strong black woman. New York, you are watching Women Are Talking TV. I'm T. Billy Martin, and today I have a very special local baker who is moving and shaking from domestic and international grounds. Meet the talented Darnisha Lynch of Drunken Shots. Hey, everybody. She's a Brooklyn baker, wife, and mother of two who has been putting smiles on people's faces through a cupcake since 2015. Hey, boo. 
<laughs> Firstly, okay, okay, I know, so I'm just gonna go into it. So you yeah. don't do the mannequin no more because you got bougie on us, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, I gotta change up. Okay. Maybe a little better, a little better. But the mannequin is what caught my eye when I first started seeing your stuff. No, it is, and that's still my girl. Mm -hmm. I still have her doing everything. I do weddings with her. I do everything with her, but... Sometimes you gotta spice it up. So, so the I mannequin that I'm talking about, she does this this elaborate decoration of, on a mannequin that she makes dressed like a girl. Sometimes it's a ballerina. Sometimes she has a tutu on. For all different occasions, she'll you know d decorate the mannequin to that theme mm -hmm. on top of the cup cupcakes all around it. Right? Yes, yes. Everybody noticed the mannequin thing is like kind of a celebrity within itself. So, yes. but now that she getting all like on Oprah level and stuff, she no. don't do the mannequin no more. <laughs> like we want you know twenty thousand dollars you know sheets and stuff. You know, it's sometimes you have to change up. I okay. mean, my company is getting a lot bigger. I'm getting more clients, and a lot of clients they ask for different things. They don't just want the mannequin because if I have men. I can't bring the girl, mm -hmm. so I gotta switch it up with these, and I have other like um, nice chandelier ones too. Mm -hmm. So I gotta switch it up sometimes. Okay, well you mentioned your clients. What kind of clients you've been girl. ranging from? You've been everywhere now. Well, I ain't gonna say their names, but you say see. Say their names so they can watch my show. Come on now. Say <laughs> <laughs> names. I, I do. I do black ink. I do fresher, which is a rapper. I do many other people. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be all the way out there. Little Kim. Uh, yes, I'm gonna I be out there. Like... Kim. <laughs> I can't even on oh, oh my dome say everybody that I've did, but I did a lot of people, a lot of celebrity people, and I'm still growing. I'm still trying to get where I gotta be. I don't think I'm special. I just feel because my best friend, they be like, girl, you a star. No, I ain't. Yeah, she is. No, I ain't. Not yet. I will be, though. Anyway, but she, yeah, she is. Anyway, so, <laughs> but she started what I um, appreciate about your, uh, your passion. Mm -hmm. You do everything from scratch. Yes, I do. Yourself. Yes. And you deliver yourself on top of. And everything that you are seeing here was made by her hands. Yes. From the rooted to the tutored decor, all, all, except for the plastic. Yes. The only thing she didn't make was the pa plastic in the mirror. And I put the glitter on the plastic, yep. so I did that too. <laughs> she did that too and everything. What made you decide to, hey, this is what I want to do, want to do and I'm going to keep on doing it until the wheels fall off? Oh, my friends, um, my husband and my mom, she was, especially my mom, she was just like, listen, I mean, you only got one life. You got to live it. You got to do whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we work and we don't be happy. So if you can have a side hustle that you're happy and make it into your dreams, then do what you got to do. And my husband, he be right with me, hand in hand, hand in hand. He delivers. He tells me all the ideas and my kids them. They be, my son, LaVar, he's like, ugh. He lets me know, like, Mom, you should put a lollipop in here. <laughs> you should put glitter over there. You should do everything. And my friends, them, they're my day ones. They tell me when I'm feeling down, like, yo, you're going to make it. You're going to you make are, it. Because you got a great spread. You have a great product. And, you know, we believe in you. And we know how uh, you know hard and that you work to make this happen. So, of course, we're going we're gonna to be there, right? Right. So we're going to be there, no matter what. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's um, emotional. This transformation that I made is so emotional. Um, people think that you can just put a cupcake together and that's it. Like me, that's me. I put a cupcake <laughs> together, that's it, boo, that's it. Nah, it's, it's <laughs> a lot. It. When you want, I tell, I just told an Uber driver, if you want to have your own business, you need not to be married and have no kids. What? And he looked at me and said, oh my God. And I said, no, because... You always are going to be tied because right now I want to, it's Sunday. I mm -hmm. want to be home with my kids. I want to raise my kids. But if I'm home, I can't grind and give my kids what they want. Mm -hmm. I got to, he wants basketballs. I got to give him basketballs. He wants me to do his prom. He needs a suit. I got to get a suit. I got to do everything to make him not have to be on the streets. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to do that, I have to bake these cupcakes and bring them to you. Mm -hmm. I have to make this banana pudding. I have to make these strawberries. I have to make the strawberry cheesecake. Just to be the mom that he can look up to. I always tell him, I said, I don't want you to look up to Martin Luther King. I don't want you to look up to Rosa Parks. I want you to look up to Denisha Lynch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want you to say, that's my mother. Mm -hmm. she, she grind with us. Hand to hand, hip to hip. And my, old, my oldest son and my youngest son, I want them to be proud of me. 
and when he, when the first time I did it with you, mm -hmm. and he watched me, he started crying and he was so emotional. <laughs> he started crying and it was like, I was like, why are you crying? He was like, that's my mom. Like, I could go home and tell everybody that's why my mom. Why are you crying, mama? I, I love my baby. You know, and they, your babies love you uh -huh. too. <laughs> no, but it's and like. they are proud of you. Yeah, so, I could Oh, wait home. a minute. Take a napkin from your $100 oh, yeah, um, napkin. $100 napkin. <laughs> $100 napkin. <laughs> No, but seriously, I could go home to them and tell them like my I day. I kids with money. Go ahead. I know that's uh, soon coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like he's so happy to tell his mom. I mean, to tell his school about me. To tell everybody like, oh, my mom, she seems fresh and my mom's on black ink and my mom does this and my mom's all over the place. And he's so it's that that feeling that he gives me. And then when my husband said, I'm proud of you. Just gives me that little tingle. Yeah. Especially my mother, like that's the true validation that we look for. Yeah. That we aim for. Cause I told her I'm doing a big venture next year, and my husband didn't think twice what to say we could do it. <laughs> he didn't even say, "Well, we ain't got no money." Or he was like, "That's on a hit list. Let's go. Let's do this." Because right. he has so much drive in me. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's what you need. If you don't have that. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna get there. Yeah. You ain't gonna get there. You need that support system. Yes. You, you need really that do. support system. You really do. And it's great to know that your family, you know, that that's your motivation every time. You know, you be complaining about, oh, I gotta go to go all the time and, you, and stuff like that. <laughs> but you make it happen. You know, yes. that's guaranteed. At the end of the day, you deliver. Yeah, so, you have to. I mean, and this, that's why you keep getting customers. This is this is this is this is me. Yep. So you got what? Like, let me see what all you right. got, so because I'm hungry. Okay, now. <laughs> I do a strawberry shortcake, which is my mom, she bought me some Jamaican rum back, so I put it in the batter, and it's amazing. It smells amazing. My yes, batter, it, is, it makes it tingly. Mm -hmm. And um, the icing is buttercream. I only use buttercream because everybody loves buttercream. Mm -hmm. And I love the strawberries. Um, they're cut half, and then you put a little glitter, and that's it. That's so, my signature. And what's so special about your cupcakes, cupcakes versus anybody else's we don't want? Okay, what's special is you can taste all the alcohol in the cupcakes. I don't have that little piper that you squeeze in your mouth and then I pay $70 for that. No, I want to taste, I want to feel like, okay, I know what I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. And I don't just like, hurry up and order. I, I want you to know, like, you're getting good quality. Mm -hmm. You're getting fresh strawberries. You're getting everything from scratch. You're mm -hmm. not getting um, CVS or um, what you call it, or Wall Star. I mean... Walmart, you're getting everything that you want. Mm -hmm. Everything. So And the core. In the core. The core yes. And yes. In I the remember core. the first time when we was on the other show mm -hmm. and she had her little spread. Everybody left the studio drunk. Everybody. Yes. It was Yes. <laughs> it was like, okay, we were supposed to be a holiday party, but okay. And we I had still do much, they, and yeah. I still do day parties. Actually I just did one mm -hmm. in April, so I still Yeah. So love. what else you have over here? What else? Okay. What's now, Carmel um, or what? Everybody loves my strawberry shortcake. And I decided I don't like to do the cups. I hate strawberry shortcake. And the cups, them. Mm -hmm. I don't like the cake. I don't like it. I don't know. It's just me. I don't like it. So I decided to do something that you could hold. Mm -hmm. I decided to do something that's more liquidy, like a mousse. Mm -hmm. And then I push um, fresh strawberries in there. And then now I make my own glasses. You so, make your, Look at you. So, yeah, I make my own glasses. And then I do um, strawberries with chocolate and drizzled with glitter and I made my own containers with that too. Wait, wait, this is so cute. <laughs> You're gonna you gotta get a close up, I'm sure, but this is too cute. And yeah. what kind of frosting that's chocolate? Yes, chocolate. Can that's I buy caramel it? chocolate. Go ahead. Can I buy it now? You want your money napkins? Uh, yeah, I want my money napkins. Oh, okay. Let me, let me get your little money napkin. Okay. Hey. Okay. I look greedy? No. Okay. Even if you do, who cares? It's your okay. show. <laughs> mm, this is good. Mm, hey, mm, okay. I'm gonna get you a little money. Thank you. Okay. See? My bad. My and bad. it's fresh. Mm-hmm. And it's organic, too. And it's huge, like Jurassic. Where you get these strawberries from? I get it from a guy. I don't ask no questions. I don't want to know what's going on. <laughs> Just give me at a good price, and nobody's gonna die from it, they and delicious. we all good. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like... They, these strawberries, I had one that was this big one time. I was like, what's going on? But the customers love them. Mm -hmm. They're fresh. This customer love them. Yeah, and it's good, so I don't complain. So what future goals do you have for Drunken Shots? Well, right now I'm working on my own store. That's like... What? Where? Yes, Where? yes, yes. And it's going to be on Atlantic, girl. Yes. So I'm saying? Yes, I'm, saying. I'm trying to get that up and running 
let's just say next year, but if I'm not next year, it's the year after. But I'm definitely trying to get my store up running because I don't just want you to have to come to my house and get your orders or I'm delivering. I want you to be able to say, okay, where's your store located? Okay, I'm coming to pick up my order. That's how I want it to be so much professional, like through the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. And not only that, I want you, you don't have to buy a dozen from me. You can go to my store and buy one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's Individual. nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I don't only do alcohol. I can do things without alcohol too. So Yep, yep. she do senior citizen centers, yeah. <laughs> and kids parties and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like I do. That. I do I did her baby shower. Yep, she did my baby shower. Mm -hmm. Half alcohol, half not. Yeah, so she I, did. I just want you to be able to go somewhere. That's nice. I'm gonna have seating. You drink your little coffee, you know, do your little homework, your little work from work and just have a nice relaxing moment because sometimes you need something to yourself you know mm -hmm. what I mean? this is like, so cute and seeing how you always like the de decorate your uh -huh. display i can imagine what the store is gonna look girl, like girl i ain't even got it yet girl <laughs> suspense <laughs> girl it already i already know yeah, it's suspense. so besides cupcakes and banana pudding you do other stuff yeah i do, do. i make everything from scratch i do from my scratch. glasses i do the tablecloths them i did the sun um, I do everything. I don't just do one thing. I do weddings, baby showers. I do everything that you... I am... I'm not a party planner. No, she's not. No, I'm not. So don't confuse but, that. Yeah, because I can't help you. I don't know how to put that in no way. I don't know how to do a balloon. But if you want to know about a dessert, I can help you from start to finish. You're definitely... If you order... When you order from her, your, your, your guests are going to definitely smile. That's for sure. Thank you. Definitely going to smile. So back to the store. So, right... Your friends get discounts, right? Girl, why everybody always want a discount when they know you? <laughs> <laughs> why they have to, I, I gotta get my discount yeah, because I'm gonna be there every week. Yeah, and, it's, <laughs> and you know what's funny? It's right next door, so mm -hmm. it's gonna be a perfect place for everybody to come and yeah, you get your discount, girl. Word. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait for the store to open. It's that's gonna be so much like. I don't know all your dreams in one yeah, bucket. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So if I was to okay let's say i'm 12 years old 13 years old mm -hmm. i'm seeing what you're doing i'm following you on on instagram mm -hmm. and i'm amazed mm -hmm. and i mean i'm deciding hey i want to do this i want to you know be a, become a baker and 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 follow what she do what advice would you give that 12 year old um wow you know it's funny a lot of people ask me on facebook to do live feeds about how i started mm -hmm. and i'm so scared to do it because um I don't want to sound evil or mm -hmm. mean because I'm always honest. If anybody don't know that I'm honest and I tell people the truth, it's hard because when you starting with your business, you want people to help you. You mm -hmm. reach out for people that is in the same industry and especially women, no tea, but they just, they don't want to help you. They don't want to see you. And we're, I'm talking about our color. They don't want to help you. <clears throat> Something bad happened? Yeah. We're picking up an audio, right? Yeah. I heard it. Oh, and knocking on the door. Yeah. Oh, um, the door. Sit. No. You stand right here. Uh -huh. Does somebody, um, is the, is the food here? Yeah. Okay. That's probably if I'm at the door. You want to take my phone in case they call you again. Okay. So, can you actually, like, close the door or something? Girl, don't get put, don't I don't need rose thing all over again. That happened all over again. Thank you. <laughs> Let's place my table. One question before. Yeah. Okay. What was the question before? Now? Not right. Now I can transition this. Oh. Oh. I'm just hearing her on the phone. And no speakable content could be found on the screen. <laughs> what is that? Do that one yet? Um, I can do that one, but I thought we were going to four. How much time should I say? Um, how much time did I go so far? You have 20 minutes left. Okay, ooh. Um, can you just go over to five? Oh, okay. How much minutes you got? Two minutes, 37 seconds. We did that, um. Robert's only, or, okay. Um, okay, just go to six, because it's two minutes, you said? Uh, 12 minutes. 12 minutes left? Okay. I'll give you the count. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't, okay, how much time I have I mean, left exactly? 1247. Okay, I heard two. Sorry. Um, 
So we can go back to four. We did that already. Mm -hmm. It's six um, we had. Yeah. Kind of messed up. Oh, my butt off. We was at, um, if a kid wanted to. Yeah. So I think it's six. Yeah. We can go to six. We can go to six. Are you taping this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you not? No. No, because this is being aired on my show. Not yeah, to be posted she, early. No, 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 no. I, I did it for myself, but okay. I won't put it up. Okay. And unless when you ever tell me when it's time. Okay. I got you. What is that? I like your social media pics. So no, how, we how, on five. How, what she was talking about the women not supporting her. Because okay. you asked me about when a kid, if a kid wants to do what I do, mm -hmm. how do they do it? I don't yeah. know. I don't see that question up there. So no. Because I, I like to go off. Okay. Yeah. So you want to ask me that again? Yeah. Okay, good. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm waiting. Five, four, three, two. So if I was a little kid, 12 years old, 13, and I decide I want to be a baker because I'm following you on Instagram and I'm seeing you, mm -hmm. you know, all your beautiful creations and everything, and I want to start doing this too, what kind of advice would you give me? Um, Don't listen to nobody. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Do your own thing. Do you at the end of the day because when you go there, everybody's going to tell you, oh, you can't do it or you need money or you need this or you need that. And then women, they're not trying to help you, especially if you're a woman yourself, especially if you're a black woman. They're not trying to give you no advice to tell you, like, okay, these are the steps. Mm -hmm. And I do that because I don't have no shame in my game. If you can make a cupcake better than me, then go ahead. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to make it how you make it. You know, right. I might put alcohol, you might not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's all different. Mm -hmm. So I just tell them to be strong and do what makes you happy. Okay. Strive through it. Um, if you got to Google everything, if you got to email, if you, whatever you got to do to get where you got to go, do it. Bottom line. That's the bottom line. Okay. Um. So was, was that type of advice your mother gave you when you started? No, because my mother don't got no idea about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was a cooker. She don't know nothing about this. No, she was just saying, like, listen, because I, I always tell people, don't laugh what I'm about to say. I'm laughing. <laughs> I always tell people back in the days when I was younger, when I was thinking I was fly, I was like, I am number one, two is not a winner, and three nobody remembers. Right. And I say that to the day I die. I and like my mother that. used to crack up. She's like, oh my God, where you learn that from? And I was like, Nelly. Yeah. <laughs> he said it and I would live with him for the rest of my life because ain't nobody worrying about three. It's and show my annoying about two. So <laughs> do whatever you do. What she was trying to tell me is and what I was trying to explain to her is if you're gonna make the cupcake, make it the best cupcake you ever made. But mm -hmm. before I came here, my mom said, Make sure it clean. Mm hmm Because she's telling me, make sure it's neat, make sure it's on point, make sure you wanna eat it. You know what I mean? Each so, and every time. Each and every time. So when she said that to me, that's what I got off of it. Just make sure I'm number one. Mm -hmm. So and if that's I, what your kids are seeing. That's why your son is so proud. Yes, that's yeah. exactly why he sees that. Yeah. He sees the drive. He shouldn't become a bum <laughs> at all. <laughs> at all. You heard me? Okay. Listen to you. No, uh, I'm doing this for them. So what if they decided they want to take over your business? And oh, my son decided. He oh, went, yeah? He, yeah, he's going to put me on the beach in Mexico. Uh -uh. So I can wear my thong and my, and my dress. And he's going to do everything for me. And I'm just going to have to call and tell him what not to do. He already got his ideas. He wants to put lollipops in, in the alcohol shots. He wants no. to put cotton candy. He wants to... My son is... Already? He wants, he already... He already wants it. And my baby, he's trying to cut the strawberries with his little butter knife because he knows what he wants too. So mm -hmm. my son, the little baby one, he wants to make apples. So drunken shots might be coming out with an apple something. I don't know what it is yet. Sour apple. Because <laughs> he's on that stage right now with apples. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there he has to take over. Yeah. Can't, this, this not can't stop. Drunken yeah. shots has to be like edible arrangements and butter. Right. And I love me some edible arrangements. Now, Even though they don't sponsor, I love me some edible no, arrangements. No, I bought one of these strawberries here. Yeah. Because I wanted to see my competition. This one strawberry with no alcohol was $5. Dang. They out of line. That's they out of line. Okay. Yeah, for real. Okay, so your title, Drunken Shots. Mm -hmm. Where that coming from? 
my husband, we was trying to figure it out. We was calling it boozy shots, <laughs> shaker shots. I was like, I don't know what to call it. And everybody, because you know, it's drunken monkeys out there. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to steal from her. Um, shout out to Big Angie, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. I had met her too. She's a wonderful person. Yes, she is. I did an event with her. Yeah. And um, I wanted to make it like you were like, what? Let me see what's going on with that. And we came together and named it Junkin' Shots. But it's kind of going to be a little weird because my store, you know, a lot of people going to think it's an alcohol place, mm-hmm. which is not going to be. It's mm-hmm. not just about alcohol. Right. But we're going to make it homey. So right. you will know that it's not, you can come and get a coffee. Right. You can come and get a bagel. Right. You can come and get a cupcake. You come and get anything that you want. Whatever you want, we got it. Right, but we mainly come in for the alcohol to come in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's, yeah. Your future goals is to have storefront on Atlantic, you know, mm-hmm. Jay-Z coming in there ordering on a daily. No, Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Rihanna too. Yeah. Rihanna too. Um, <laughs> besides local, you know, besides Brooklyn nights that you're serving to, how would you see yourself internationally? Well, I want to be traveling. Mm-hmm. That's my next goal. I have a bucket list with drunk and shots. And my husband says I'm crazy. But my best friend, no, she gave me a planner. Yeah, she was the first one. Teresa gave me a planner. And I write in that, like, it's no tomorrow. It's so bad that I need a new one. Yay. Yes. Okay, and best friend. All right. <laughs> I'll put everything in there. And I, and I go through it, what I need to do next. Like, what I need to do next and who I need to meet and where I need to go. And I right now I want to do, you know, when celebrities they do their little parties and stuff. I want to be there when Oprah does her little parties. Mm-hmm. Yes, Oprah. Yeah. I want to be there when uh, Barclay Center when they do their parties. I'm trying to get in there now. I want to be there anywhere you at. I'm trying to be there. So I want to be, you know, when you go to picnic and you have a basket with everything. That's who I want to be. That mm-hmm. picnic basket. Right. So I want to come to you I and make your life. Again. You know, sexy, and it's simple. cute. Yeah, and that's exactly cute. what I want to do. So you have more female customers than you do clients than you do males. You know what's funny? I do, and you know what's funny? I never knew that females would order for their husbands, mm. and that's all I've been getting. They order for their boyfriends, they order for their husbands, and it's cute and it's weird. I'm like, your husband gonna eat a cupcake? Right. But you know, men they so strong they don't like sweetness, mm-hmm. but they'll eat that cupcake and they'll send me a picture too. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I guess. Not just women like cupcakes, men like it too. I was thinking women ordering more from you because we're just a bunch of luscious. I don't know, but <laughs> no, it's true. Too. But no, they they order for their man. I had crazy orders. I had a woman. She ordered strawberries for her man. I was like strawberries. She was like, mind your business. I was like, you're right. <laughs> and I ain't saying nothing. I let her order the little stuff to them because I never say no. I never change your order. I never tell you what you're supposed to want. Whatever you want, mm-hmm. that's what's going to be what you're going to get whenever yes. you get it. And she is very detailed. I remember when you was doing my baby shower and I was like, I want a simple. I want simple. And she was like, don't you want? I think you should have. I'm like, uh, no, I want simple. No, that's <laughs> And she came shower. up with all these different ideas that I haven't thought about. And yeah. I'm yeah, yeah. I put jello shots on my cupcakes too. Yeah, you were gonna be lit with mine. Yes, <laughs> and yes, they were. Everybody enjoyed them. Everybody yes. enjoyed. Them. I'm glad Thank for that. Thank you so much. Okay, well, that's all we have today. Be sure to contact Drunken Shots for your next event if you want to impress your guests. And remember to follow us on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. All right. Yes, Thank Instagram. you for watching New York. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why you be acting all nervous. It got it got a little comfortable in the middle. I gotta take no, my shoes off. My foot is no. burning, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Belisha, 